and welcome back this is crystal and i'm glad you're here so in today's video i will share with you how i make uh, the cute cauldron treat box perfect for halloween so let's get started for this project you will need a piece of black cardstock measuring five and a half by nine and a half inches and i'm using my scoreboard for now i will remove uh, the cutting blade on the long side, um, we'll score at one and a half inches, three inches, four and a half inches, six inches, seven and a half inches, and the last one will be at nine inches. On the short side, I'm scoring at one inch. 2 inches, 3 inches, 4 inches, 4 and a half, and the last one will be at 5 inches. I rotate my cardstock once more and I'm making sure that all the small score lines are at the bottom of the board. And now I will do some more scoring. I will start the scoring line from the top to the first horizontal score line. And I'm scoring at a one inch, one and a half, two and a half, three, four, four and a half, five and a half, six, seven, seven and a half, eight and a half, and the last one will be at nine. Here I have my template just to make it easy for you. So basically I will trim off all the black area, keep all the orange sections and trim on the score line uh, which are the black dotted line. And I hope that the template will be helpful for you guys. Now I'll go ahead and trim off the pieces that I don't need and I will start with uh, this narrow section. To create all the tabs for the bottom of the box, I will just follow um, the template uh, guide and uh, trim all the pieces that I don't need. And I think the best and easy way for you to be able to create the cauldron um, box is to make a template first. Because even for me, when I was trying to work out all the measurement for the cauldron at first, it was hard and with all the score lines, it was uh, really confusing, especially um, the tabs. Um, that's why I made the template. Now I will go ahead and trim on all the score lines as shown on the template. I trim on all the vertical score line from the bottom to the second horizontal score line. And you can see on the last flap there is a score line that um, I did not trim. Don't pay attention to this score line. I accidentally scored it wrong at the beginning. I will repeat the same step for the top of the box. I will trim on all the vertical lines from uh, the edge of the cardstock to the second uh, horizontal score line. Here I'm just using my hand to crease all the score lines. Now it's time to put the box together so you will need a two hexagon. The diameter of the hexagon is 3 inches and the edge is 1.5 inches. I use hot glue to attach all the flaps to the hexagon but you can use any glue that you may have. But using hot glue is the quickest way to attach uh, all the flaps um, to the hexagon. To attach the small side flap of the box, First, I use my scissors to just cut a little piece of the edges of the flap. Then, use hot glue 
to uh, connect the side of the box, if that makes sense. To fill all the open space of the cauldron, you will also need six pieces of um, cardstock measuring one by three centimeter. I embossed mine using this embossing folder and apply some metallic gold uh, ink to the raised embossing area, but you can skip this step if you want to. Using my scoreboard, I will uh, score each uh, strip on the short side at half of an inch, then on the long side at half and two and a half inches. I um, crease all the score lines on the strips. Then use my scissors to trim off a little piece of uh, each uh, flaps. And I will repeat the same step with all the other strips. Once again, I'm using hot glue to attach the strip to the cauldron. I put hot glue on one of the little flap of the strip. As you can see, I glue the first flap on the corner of the hexagon, then add uh, glue to the other flap and attach it to the corner. So basically, I'm just using the corner to start attaching the first strip. Then I will attach the other end of the strip to the cauldron. And I'm also making sure that the vertical line, uh, score line on the strip is on the open space of the cauldron. I will attach another strip like I did before for the first strip then I will keep attaching the other strip of him. And as I said before I'm just uh, lining up the flap strip to each corner of the hexagon. The cauldron box is pretty easy to put together. The only tricky bit was the cutting process, but once uh, you make one box, the next box will be more quick and easy to make. For the top of the box, I'm just folding along the score line and add hot glue on each flap and attach uh, the flaps to create the edge of the cauldron. And I will repeat the same step with all the other flaps. To have a neat finish for the bottom of the, the box, I will go ahead and attach an hexagon. The hexagon measurement is the same like the first hexagon. For the handle of the box, I cut a strip of cardstock 1 by 7 inches. Then I use my border punch to add some more interest to the handle. To add more strength to the handle, I attach the strip to a piece of acetate using some double-sided tape. And to attach the handle to the box, I use hot glue. And to decorate the box, I stamp Happy Halloween on white cold stock and die cut the sentiment using my oval scallop nesting die set. I use the second smallest um, die. I also stamp and colored a ghost and a witch hat of camera. I did not like the white die cut sentiment so I used my finger dauber just to add some green to the die cut. Now I can go ahead and arrange all the elements and once I'm happy I will use hot glue to attach them to the cauldron. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. All the measurement for this cute cauldron will be linked down below. If it's your first time visiting, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for spending your time with me. And I will see you soon. Thanks. Bye.